Hello and welcome to our channel. We're thrilled to have you join our community of financial enthusiasts. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting your financial journey, you're in the right place. We specialize in providing you with the knowledge and tools you need to navigate the financial world confidently. If you're new here, we encourage you to hit the subscribe button, like our videos, and share them with your friends and family. Your support helps us to continue creating valuable content for you. Today, we're about to embark on an exciting journey into the world of small cap stocks. These underdogs of the stock market hold great potential and could be the next big thing. So, grab a pen and paper, sit back, and let's dive right into the fascinating world of small cap stocks. Ever wondered how small cap stocks can turn into giants like Amazon and Tesla? Well, let's take a closer look. Small cap, short for small market capitalization, is a term used to classify companies based on their total market value, which is the product of a company's share price and the number of shares outstanding. Generally, stocks are categorized by market capitalization as follows. Micro-cap companies, with a market value less than $300 million, small-cap companies valued between $300 million and $2 billion, mid-cap companies between $2 billion and $10 billion, large-cap companies from $10 billion to $200 billion, and the mega-cap companies which are worth more than $200 billion. Now let's focus on the small-cap stocks. These are typically young companies still in their early stages of development. They possess significant growth potential which makes them an attractive venture for investors looking to take on a bit of risk for the possibility of high rewards. However, it's important to note that they are generally less stable than their larger, more established counterparts. Often, these small-cap companies are unprofitable, as they are still trying to find their footing in the market. But don't let that deter you. The journey of Amazon and Tesla, from being small-cap stocks to becoming industry giants, is a testament to the enormous potential that these stocks hold. Yes, they come with their fair share of risks, but with risk comes the possibility of high returns. And when these companies do find their stride and start to grow, the returns can be quite substantial. So while small-cap stocks may be risky, they also hold enormous potential for growth. They are the underdogs, the dark horses of the stock market. And who knows? The next Amazon or Tesla could just be a small cap stock waiting for its moment to shine? Small cap stocks tend to be more volatile, but why is that? Let's dive into this. The volatility stems from the very nature of these stocks. When we talk about small cap stocks, we're referring to companies with a market capitalization between $300 million and $2 billion. These companies are often young and still in their growth phase, which can result in dramatic fluctuations in their stock prices. They may not have as much financial stability as larger, more established companies, and they may even be unprofitable. This lack of stability makes the stock prices of small-cap companies more sensitive to changes in the market. Now let's look at how small-cap stocks perform over the long term. Generally speaking, the longer the evaluation period, the greater the likelihood that small-cap stocks will outperform large caps. This is because small-cap companies, despite their volatility, often have significant growth potential. They are the young upstarts, the disruptive innovators, the ambitious go-getters. And while not every small cap company will become the next Amazon or Tesla, those that do can offer impressive returns on investment. But what happens when the market changes? Let's say, for example, that the Federal Reserve Board decides to hike rates. In such scenarios, investors often flock to the safety of larger, more established companies, causing small-cap stocks to fall sharply. This is what we refer to as a risk-off moment, a time when investors are less willing to take on the risk associated with smaller, less stable companies. However, it's important to remember that these downturns are often temporary. When the market recovers and enters a bull phase, small-cap stocks often shine. They can outperform their larger counterparts, offering investors substantial returns. Yes, investing in small cap stocks can be a roller coaster ride, but for those with a long term view and a tolerance for risk, the rewards can be well worth it. So, while they can underperform during bear markets, small caps often shine in bull markets. The volatility of small cap stocks is indeed a double edged sword, but with the right strategy and a bit of patience, this volatility can be harnessed for significant gains. So how can you navigate the risky yet rewarding world of small cap stocks? The first step is thorough research. You need to understand the company's business model. What is their core product or service? Who are their customers? What's their competitive advantage in the market? 
Essentially you should be able to explain what the company does and how it makes money as if you were explaining it to a fifth grader. Next consider the company's growth potential. Small cap stocks are often young companies with significant growth potential. Look at their past performance but don't get too hung up on it. Instead, focus on their future. Are they innovating? Do they have plans for expansion? Are they in a growing industry? If the answer to these questions is yes, then the company might be a good investment. In addition to growth potential you should also consider the company's financial stability. Analyze their financial statements. Do they have a healthy balance sheet? Are they profitable or at least on a path to profitability? Remember, small cap stocks are generally less stable than their larger, more established peers. So, financial stability is crucial. Finally, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversification is key when it comes to investing, especially in small cap stocks. Spreading your investments across different companies in different industries can help reduce risk. It's the classic case of not putting all your eggs in one basket. To sum it up, choosing small cap stocks wisely involves understanding the company's business model, considering their growth potential and financial stability, and diversifying your investment portfolio. Remember the goal is not to pick the next Amazon or Tesla, but to build a portfolio of small cap stocks that, as a group, could provide substantial returns over time. Investing in small cap stocks is not a gamble, but a calculated risk. The more you understand about the company, and the more diversified your portfolio, the better calculated your risk will be. Now that we understand the dynamics of small cap stocks, let's dive into some promising ones. One such company is CarParts.com. This is an online auto parts retailer that has undergone a significant transformation under new management. Previously known as US Auto Parts, the company has consolidated its web brands under the CarParts.com banner. This streamlining of its business has led to a surge in sales, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic, when online shopping became more prevalent. But this isn't the only reason why CarParts.com has caught our eye. The company's business model is robust, focusing on investing in technology and marketing. The business is rapidly expanding, adding new distribution centers to its network. In fact, they can now deliver to 80% of the country in two days or less. This is an impressive feat for any online retailer, let alone a small cap company. This expansion isn't just about reaching more customers though, it also means that CarParts.com is able to hold more stock and offer a wider range of products. This in turn increases the company's appeal to potential customers and could lead to increased sales and growth in the future. CarParts.com quote, S growth potential is significant. The auto parts industry is a multi-billion dollar one, and the shift to online shopping shows no signs of slowing down. Furthermore, the company's focus on technology and marketing means it's well-placed to capitalize on this trend. Investing in small-cap stocks like CarParts.com is not without risk, of course. However, this company's strong business model, recent performance and growth potential make it a promising prospect. It's definitely one to watch in the coming months. CarParts.com is just one of the many small-cap stocks that hold great potential. By understanding the dynamics of these stocks and doing your own research, you can identify more opportunities like this one. Remember, not every small cap company will become a giant, but with careful selection, you might just find the next big thing. Ready to dive into the world of small cap stocks? Let's start by understanding how to begin your investing journey in this exciting sector. First and foremost, you need to open an investment account with a reputable brokerage. This is where you'll carry out your buying and selling transactions. You can choose from a variety of brokerages, each with their own unique features, so do your research to find the one that suits your needs best. Once you've set up your brokerage account, it's time to start identifying potential small cap stocks to invest in. This step will require some due diligence on your part. Look at the company's financials, understand its business model, and consider its growth prospects. It's also crucial to consider the potential risks associated with investing in a smaller, less proven company. Now you've identified some potential investments, it's time to decide how much money you want to invest. As a rule of thumb, try not to put all your eggs in one basket. This is where the concept of portfolio diversification comes into play. By spreading your investments across a range of stocks, you can reduce the risk of a single stock's poor performance significantly impacting your overall portfolio. When investing in small cap stocks, patience is key. These stocks can be volatile, with prices that can fluctuate dramatically. But remember, investing is a long-term game. Don't be discouraged by short-term volatility. Instead, keep your eye on the long-term potential. And don't forget, 
the world of investing is always evolving, and as such, it's important to stay informed. Regularly review your portfolio, keep up with market news, and be ready to adjust your strategy as needed. Investing in small cap stocks can be a roller coaster ride, fraught with highs and lows. But with careful planning, due diligence, and a healthy dose of patience, it can also be a rewarding journey that leads to significant financial growth. With the right approach, investing in small cap stocks can be a rewarding journey. Let's recap what we've learned today. We've delved into the intriguing world of small cap stocks, those dynamic companies whose market capitalization falls between $300 million and $2 billion. We've learned that while these companies often have significant growth potential, they also carry a degree of volatility and instability. They may be young and unprofitable, yet they offer the tantalizing possibility of becoming the next Amazon or Tesla. We've explored how small cap stocks, despite their volatility, tend to outperform large cap stocks over extended evaluation periods. Their values may fluctuate dramatically, and they might get hit harder during risk-off moments, but they often shine during bull markets. This is the risk-reward conundrum that every investor in small cap stocks must grapple with. We've also introduced you to some promising small cap stocks like carparts.com. These companies might not be household names today but they're working hard behind the scenes, building their business models, investing in technology, and expanding their reach. With the right strategies and a bit of patience, they have the potential to deliver significant returns. Furthermore, we've discussed how to start investing in small cap stocks. It's not just about jumping on the bandwagon of the latest hot stock, it requires careful research, understanding the company's business model, and assessing its growth potential. It also requires patience, as true growth often takes time to materialize. So, as we wrap up, remember that investing in small cap stocks is not for the faint of heart. It's for those who understand the risks and see the potential rewards. It's for those who believe in the power of small beginnings and the possibility of tremendous growth. It's for those who are patient, diligent, and ready to embrace volatility for the chance of greater returns. Remember, every giant like Amazon and Tesla started as a small cap stock. Who knows? Your chosen small cap stock might be the next big thing. Before we wrap up, it's important to note that we are not financial advisors. The information provided in this video is for educational and informational purposes only, and should not be construed as investment advice. Always do your own due diligence and consult with a professional financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Investing in small cap stocks as with any investment involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Remember, the future is unpredictable and past performance is no guarantee of future results. We want to thank you for being a part of our community. We appreciate your continued support and look forward to helping you navigate your financial journey. Your success is our success and we are committed to providing you with the tools and insights you need to make informed investment decisions. Until our next video, stay curious, stay diligent, and keep investing wisely. Thank you, and see you next time.